Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rishonye Le Blessing Malumani. And first of all, before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you so much, guys, um, for sharing the video, for liking it, for commenting. Um, I think this is the best performing video I've ever had, <laughs> which is so great. Um, and now I think we're on 770 subscribers. So that is awesome. So I also received a lot of questions um, from you guys, also from the people that have me on WhatsApp who are too shy <laughs> to comment on the video. Also others who DM'd me on LinkedIn, on Instagram. Um, so I just thought, you know what, these are actually very important questions that I feel like I need to um, just answer them. And I have them here on my phone, or on my little sister's phone, actually. <laughs> so um yeah also I, these are not all the questions there are some of the questions which are under the other video which i'll link it down below if you haven't checked it out so just go through this uh through the comment and make sure to answer each and every comment there so that if you have the same uh, question then at least you know that it's answered so the first question is certification um this is something that i wasn't aware of apparently someone told me that you're not supposed to certify the document so uh with certification i went through the application form you do need to certify your documents you also need to take your documents to the police station so that it can be uh, commissioned by the commissioner of oath so that is actually very important the last page is very 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 important um i'll put um a comment on the comment section i uh, check out that comment it will help you a lot with the last section of the application the second question was also is having a master's an advantage or could i just apply with an honors so the person who asked me this question has a, is doing his phd um so it was just like uh, should i include my master's or should i not include um my master could i just use my honors honestly speaking putting in your master's will put you at an advantage because there's a lot of people that are applying and also i'm not sure if this also applies with the um, what do you call i'm not sure if it applies with the, the 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 selection process i know it applies with the interview if you have an honors there's a score that they give you if you have a phd there's a score that they give you, you have a master's there's a score that they give you so they rank those scores so if you have a phd in prime then before you even talk, say anything in the interview you already have like five points which is way better than someone who just has a bsc so all your qualifications put it on the everything just put it in there um the third question is do you put each form on envelope or all together in hmm? do you put each form on envelope or all together in the envelope so basically this is they were asking if you are planned at five places for example do i put each form in a different envelope or should I put everything in one envelope? I remember when I applied, I also had this question. You can put everything in the same envelope because when they get there, they're just going to remove it and be like, okay, this goes here, this goes there, this goes there. So there's no need for you to um to put it in, in a different envelope. The fourth question is, I have chemistry background. Might stand a chance on ballistic, right? So this one, it's when... um. They were they have a chemistry background they were telling me that they stand a better chance with ballistics um you do stand a chance with ballistics but i think with a chemistry background you stand a better chance with chemistry so there is ballistics there is chemistry as well so yeah you can apply both but then i think with chemistry if you have a chemistry background you stand a bigger chance if you have a microbiology background you stand a much bigger chance uh with biology uh, so yeah Depending on what background you have, you stand a better chance with that subject. And then number five is how important is it to declare all the posts you apply in and using an address code to where you are applying to? So this this <laughs> this is a very tricky question. Honestly, I don't really have an answer to this question. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but um I, with me, I'll, well, I'll use myself as an example. I did declare the, the post that I have. Um, I don't know why they want that. I, I really don't. Um, and using an address to where you are applying to. That's actually, I think that is important because, that, because um, 
they wouldn't want to employ someone who's in Pretoria and Cape Town. Like, if they, they want to call you today and be like, you need to be here tomorrow. So, they are most likely to call someone who is in, who is in that area. So, I want to tell you guys something. <laughs> Don't take my word for it. So, I think, I like the fact that they asked this question um, on the same, it's on the same question. They asked two questions on the same question because if you're going to declare, let's say you apply in Cape Town. And then you're also going to declare that you applied in Pretoria, but at the same time you're using different um, addresses in Cape Town and also in Pretoria. That's I don't know, just I don't know. That just sounds a bit somehow to me. So, but then my thing is apply at the area where you are at, use the address of where you are at. Um, I got a job in Cape Town because I applied in Cape Town using the Cape Town address. And also, I, when I started working, my boss was also always shouting at me, be like, hey, we're not from Lipopo, what are you doing here in Cape Town? Like, you lied in your application saying that you're in Cape Town. But then I didn't lie, I was staying in Cape Town, uh, I was studying in Cape Town, but then originally I'm from Lipopo. So I think you could also have that advantage that you're staying somewhere else, but then you probably also have your home address uh, for like me in Lipopo. So I think you could use both. But if you're going to use both like that, just make sure that you also separate your uh, your reference numbers there on the application. You get what I'm saying? If you're applying in Cape Town, make sure that for all the Cape Town posts, you write all those applications that you did. For, in Lipo, for Lipopo, you write all the applications for Lipopo like that. Do. <laughs> Don't tell anyone that I told you that. Don't. Um number six, do they really consider people with just degrees so as in BSc or they require honors up? Um from my experience, they do consider people with a BSc. So if you have a BSc, you have a better chance um of getting in. I think BSc and a BTEC. So if you have a diploma, that's when I think it's gonna be a problem. But if you have a BTEC, then I think a BTEC and a BSc person they equate them the same. They have the same points. Um, so yeah, you do stand a chance of getting employed. But then if you have an honors, if you have a masters, if you have a PhD, you stand a way greater chance, obviously. So yeah, do not guys. There's nothing like. You're overqualified, ning ning, and all that. No, you put in all your degrees. You work hard for those things. Number seven. If I don't have a personal number, how do I write? So this one's the, this one they were asking specifically on the on the quest on the. So if you're applying, you know on the on the form that you're supposed to fill. There's a place where they're gonna ask you um, for your personal number. So obviously you don't have a personal number. Um, even if you do, well, I had a personal number because I worked for the Department of Education before I joined SAPS, but I'd forgotten. I didn't even know it. So I just put not applicable. So yeah, that's, yeah, if you don't have it. And also, no, it doesn't change. You still use the same personal number. If you have it, you can put it there. Um, but then if you don't have it, just say you don't have it. They also ask about rank. You don't have a rank. Just, yeah, just put not applicable. Number eight, on B, there's no, so on the application, there's also section B. A lot of people ask, actually ask me about this one. If there's no promotions, I just leave it like that, all right. So here on B, they were asking what promotions or what jobs did you do? If you don't have any experiences, right, not applicable, but then just try write something, honestly. Like, even if you were a teacher at crash or a Sunday school teacher or I don't know just try write something um yeah i think it just just looks good just looks like you're putting effort um number nine is how do we delete so this is on the last part of the application so there's like four boxes and then um they're gonna ask you like delete which is not applicable so the only thing that i saw that please read that thing like just read it maybe at least three times to to understand which part you need to delete because basically there you are taking an oath so you need to remove all the things that you do not agree with guys with the last part uh please take it to the police station and uh, let them advise you on the commissioning part because from the application it's not clear if um who needs to sign it uh, but then the instruction says you need to take it to the commission of oath so please take it to the police station and let them help you with that and then number 10 is how do we answer section b and c um 
so in section b you write the jobs that you've had and also the promotions i've, ex I've explained that and on c you write the certificates that you've had so all the certificates that I've had. i remember when i was still in school i would attend symposiums i put everything as it every certificate that i ever did i was even the treasurer when i was an undergrad i put it in the i got position what what for oral presentation i put i put yes then i put everything there so i also encourage you to do the same um i don't know what advantage that puts you but then just put everything that you've done everything you've ever achieved and put it there so yeah i hope this video is actually not that long and thank you so much for watching please remember to like to subscribe and see you guys in my next video bye